Hey Barflies, welcome back to another episode of Behind the Bar Liquor Reviews, Late Night Munchies. Big Daddy, Special K, and unfortunately we only could find three of the latest flavors. And it sucks because yesterday I saw the bacon mac and cheese, a whole thing of them, but... Not there again today. Not there today. It's and the, I think... The most popular flavor. Now I work for a distributing company in town here and I talked to one of the Frito-Lay guys when these guys when these things first came out so I haven't had any of them but he said the bacon mac and cheese is by far the best one <laughs> so and based on the fact that I can't ever find it except yeah. for yesterday um, tells me that they're having a contest for flavors to see which one's gonna win I would guess that, that one would win but I have no reason to give you as far as flavor yeah. or anything I just heard it's the best one I know that uh, I went to seven different stores just today, I went to two, and that doesn't that doesn't include the past two weeks trying to locate <laughs> these things. And even since the contest started in Rochester, I've only ever seen these three. I have not seen the bacon mac and, and cheese. And I've only seen the bacon mac and cheese a few times. And I'm in about twenty plus stores a day, and I've only seen it a few times. So, well, kind so of odd. What we're going to do is we're going to do our half-assed review and only yeah. be able to give you our opinion on three of them. It's a three-quarters review. Yes. But I think I want to start with the mango, because okay. I don't trust the mango. You don't trust it? I don't know. <laughs> I know they're done by different people, and it looks like they took the names of the people off of them. Oh, okay. Oh, the people that submitted them. Yeah, the people that submitted them. I know someone else that reviewed these said it was some woman, and she loved her husband's mango salsa so much that she decided to have Lay's make it, which you have a husband at home that's making it. Why are you going behind his back and having Lay's do it for you? He is a cheater. Yeah. I don't agree with that. I have to stick your face in it and I gotta reach in and grab it. It just smells. Do you wanna smell it? Or no, I don't smell it. It just smells fruity. It's not horrible. It smells like a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> it's got some fruitiness going on there. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh. Not because it's a bad thing, it's just. <laughs> it definitely has like a not fruit loop thing, but if your husband's mango salsa tastes like this, why are you still with him? He obviously can't make mango salsa. This is not good. It's not horrible though. I get what they're trying to do. If your husband was making mango salsa like this, would you eat it? I would have a husband, but oh, nice try. <laughs> um, no, but I mean, it's it's kind of it's it's kind of sweet. It's not. No, it's kind of bland. It, it's nothing special going on, but I get what they're doing. Yeah, I'm not. It's get, fun. It's just like a free. I don't know, Jolly Rancher. It's it's almost like cereal, but it's not. Yeah, it's like it's, a, it's obviously got the potato chip flavoring with it. Yeah, nondescript fruit flavor potato chip. Yeah. Now we're gonna try. Oh, that's what you want to go for next. I want to do this because I heard it's absolutely disgusting. This came from a person that would really know because we've had them. This is the cappuccino. Actually, it smells like cinnamon toast crunch. I've heard that before that the cinnamon toast crunch tastes like it, something like whatever. Actually, <laughs> that's not horrible. I mean, I wouldn't want to eat a lot of it, but. It's not horrible. No, that's uh, I the the cinnamon toast crunch was there for yeah an instant when you bit into it, and then the coffee flavor took over. But again, it's not like a bitter coffee flavor. No, I get why they call it cappuccino. I do like this better than the mango. <laughs> I didn't even do it. I thought it was gonna be horrible. I yeah, that one I I might even have a second just to yeah get a good yeah. analyzation of. Now it. on the mango, that was a wavy chip. Mm-hmm. It adds a level of flavor and texture to it. This is a regular Lay's. This is a regular Lay's tossed with cappuccino flavor. Or as they say in um, Anchorman, cappuccino. It's not horrible. I like that better than the mango. And again, I would never buy this and eat it. No, this... It's weird and different, but it's yeah. not bad. Yeah. It's really not that bad. No, it, <laughs> I thought that was going to be disgusting. Mm -hmm. I expected a lot worse. 
Okay. All right. The last now one. This is, is a kettle chip. Kettle chip wasabi ginger. Mm -hmm. They didn't bother to have the sushi in there. Just now. They also ginger. don't mention that that ginger is pickled ginger. Yep. On the photo, I don't know if it's pickled ginger on the flavor. Or not. Probably not. That'd be kind of weird. Ooh. I like the smell. I've heard they're hot. Yep, that is the best. In my opinion, I like that one the best. Yeah. I can see that. I can see digging down a hole. Oh thing. yeah, and it's it's got a pickled ginger flavor. Yep, yep. Without a doubt, that's pickled yep. ginger. <laughs> he keeps going. I can kill this whole bag. <laughs> that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Actually, that's really good. That's a really good chip. Yep. I don't. I've, it from, even has a soy sauce thing going on. Yeah. There. From other reviews I've seen with other shows, the bacon mac and cheese, they say they don't get much bacon off it and it just tastes like their cheddar sour cream chips. Okay. So I don't know how accurate that is. I know a few other shows have picked that as their winner, but I've seen a lot of the new, more recent shows that go along with this one, like Cult Moo and all of that, picking this one. Mm -hmm. I agree. With I agree. This is, this is the best. Yeah. And I. Would probably, if I, even if I had that bacon mac and cheese, knowing it only tastes like cheddar yeah. sour cream with a hint of maybe smoke. See, I would make it taste like bacon. Yeah. You make it taste like bacon, you're going to win. I mean, for the most part. Mm. That's but pretty good. For, I really like this. For us having only the three, this is going to be our winner. This has, pardon my speaking now, ten times the flavor of these other two. Yeah. Partially because of the wasabi, but also you get the pickled ginger flavor. Yeah. And you get a little soy sauce in the end. That's it really good. It tastes exactly what it shows on the yep. It is. The cappuccino is definitely second, and then the mango, yeah. third. Third. Possibly fourth. We didn't have the other one try. Yeah. So. so those are really good. I know a lot of you have already tried these, and I know we're lame for only being able to find three flavors. We're it's sorry. hard for us to get together too because we don't live near each other. So. Yeah. So uh let us know what you think of these ones in the comment below and what you thought of the uh, bacon mac and cheese if you had those. Otherwise, make sure you give us a like, share, subscribe to the channel, and uh, make sure you visit our Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. All that information is below. And uh, that's going to do it for tonight. We're definitely what about MySpace? Why are we on MySpace? MySpace is like dead. I think it's like mainly music now is what MySpace is. I didn't think it even still existed. Yeah, it does. Uh, it's all something. music oriented now. Okay. So. Hey, for music, Dream Theater. Is there anything else? Not really. <laughs> All right, <laughs> right Barflies. This is good. Thanks for tuning in. Check out those ones. I know I saw those ones in a lot of places today. They're not real hot. No. A little nice. level of that like, histamine kind of thing you get from horse with the wasabi. But yeah. They're good. They are good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Barflies. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers. That's like chew away. <laughs>